stars and scrubs, right? Is right. the idea that like you pay big at premium positions, even if that means paying big for three players on your roster, your two running backs and one wide receiver, or whatever it might be, some combination of running backs and wide receivers or elite tight ends, and then just filling in the blanks with players that are at max four or five dollars. The diff, the it's it, it without getting too uh, without getting too nerdy, you know, in terms of there's a level of replacement level, which in essence basically saying that there's a guy that isn't that much better than somebody that you could just get on the waiver wire, and so where you want is the difference makers. And so I don't mind going cheap at some of those other positions because, honestly, if they don't pan out, there's going to be other guys there. It's Ultimately, it's all about finding value. I, w- I would say this. It, um, when you go into an auction, I'm a, a, couple of, a couple of other auction tips for you, is having a, a sort of a definite opinion on every player, right? So because, it, again, this is why I say it's, it's chess compared to checkers because when that player comes up, you immediately need to know, am I in or am I not? Where's the value? And even if you have a cheat sheet and you're like, okay, this guy's worth 30 bucks. Yep. And then you sort of decide. In general, if I'm going to go above my cheat sheet, by a buck or two or something like that, I'd rather do it on the stars because what ends up happening is is that uh, is that if if you if you that at some point in the auction there are people go, that go in the mid rounds and they go wait for way too much money. So like for example on this, I what I like to do is like if I'm say you want Le'Veon Bell, okay, I'll throw out Le'Veon Bell early and say I've budgeted fifty dollars for Le'Veon Bell. I'm making up a number here, um, and all of a sudden he goes for like sixty five. Then at least you know, okay, now I can pivot. Now I've got that $50 to use elsewhere. But what ends up happening is, you know, David Johnson goes and McCoy and and Freeman and, and you know, a couple other running backs. And you're like, oh, there's Le'Veon Bell. And you're just waiting, waiting, waiting. And then all of a sudden, somebody, you know, three rounds in and you're saving all your money. And he comes out there and there's two other guys that were saving their money or two other people. And suddenly Le'Veon Bell goes for $70 because he was the last stud left. And then you're out and you're like, Oh, I've got 50 bucks left. 